Have you ever imagined that a full-fledged wind power station could easily fit in the pocket of your backpack? Shine Turbine is a powerful wind generator that allows you to harness electricity even with gentle gusts of wind. The device weighs only 3 pounds and can set up from its compact state to a working condition in just 2 minutes. Despite its small size, this wind generator is capable of producing up to 40 watts of power. It utilizes a 12,000 mAh rechargeable battery as a storage unit, and its primary purpose is to charge gadgets with specifications of 5 volts and 2.4 amps. To facilitate this, the turbine is equipped with two separate USB ports. What's interesting is that you don't need to manually catch the wind. The generator housing automatically rotates on its support to face the wind direction. The equipment has an IP54 water resistance rating, allowing you to use it not only during mountain hikes or in the forest, but also by the waterfront and even in rainy conditions. One kilogram of gaseous hydrogen on the US market costs about $16. The Solhid Home Solar Panel will allow you to produce up to 250 liters of this substance per day, absolutely free of charge. Externally, this device resembles a regular solar panel. However, it converts sunlight not into electrical energy, but into hydrogen. This gas can then be used for heating your home or refueling a hydrogen-powered vehicle. The conversion efficiency of such a panel is 15%, which is currently a world record. In terms of practical application of this technology, according to researchers' opinions, you can easily get through the winter with 20 of these panels on your roof. The only requirement is that your home should be well insulated. The panels are not yet ready for large-scale production, but the possibility of small-scale manufacturing is already being considered. Therefore, it is quite likely that the hydrogen platform may appear on the market as early as 2030. OmniFlow combines the properties of two previous inventions, wind turbines and solar panels. Thus, the equipment can accumulate and convert not only wind energy, but also solar energy. Unlike other similar devices, the generator is positioned parallel to the ground. This is due to the special design of the turbine which operates on the principle of an airplane wing. Moreover, the device can work regardless of the wind direction. The maximum power of the wind turbine is 3000 watts. The device's blades start rotating even at a wind speed of only 1.5 meters per second which is likened to a gentle breeze that can barely be felt on the face. It is anticipated that such equipment will serve as an excellent replacement for regular streetlights. Currently, several test samples of these hybrid installations have already been installed in the harbor of the Portuguese town of Porto. Another option for an unusual wind generator is the Skegness device. This turbine stands at a height of 6 feet and is installed in a vertical position. According to the manufacturer, this technology will revolutionize green energy. The turbines are omnidirectional, allowing them to capture wind from all directions without needing to rotate, and making them low maintenance. The wind generator can be easily lifted onto a roof using a standard crane. Its silent operation and absence of vibrations make it inconspicuous for people inside the building. Additionally, the generator can be connected to a home's electrical grid as an additional or backup power source. Currently, this technology is in the testing phase. One of the turbines is located on the Skegness Pier and provides nighttime illumination for a historical landmark. The second turbine is installed on the roof of a factory in Spalding, providing lighting for one of the factory sections. Over time, the power of an electric car's batteries becomes insufficient to propel the vehicle, and expensive disposal becomes necessary. For this reason, B2U Storage Solutions, a startup, has found a new purpose for these batteries. 
Now, the batteries that were once installed in electric vehicles with well-known brand names contribute to California's energy system. Old electric car batteries can be charged up to 85% of their original capacity and used as an additional energy storage system. This significantly reduces the cost of storing electricity generated from solar and wind stations. According to the company's management, they have access to 1,300 used electric vehicle batteries. All of them are connected to a solar power station located in the city of Lancaster, California. Although the technology is still in its early stages of development, it has the potential to utilize millions of used batteries in the future. Continuing the topic of electric vehicles, let us tell you about the portable modular charging system for them, Zip Charge Go Hub. The station features a modular design and flexible dimension, allowing it to be used in various locations. It can be a parking lot near office buildings or in residential areas. The system is available in two variants, with 5 or 10 portable charging units. Both variants easily fit into a standard parking space. They can also be installed on sidewalks or near areas where electricity is already available. Through GoHub, the charging units will be available for rent 24-7. When a user approaches the designated compartment, the structure's door automatically opens. The user then retrieves the charging unit, brings it to their vehicle, and connects it. Once the charging process is complete, the user returns the portable charger back to the compartment. The use of green energy technologies is relevant not only for land transportation, but also for water transport. A shining example of this is the kite called Sea Wing, developed by the French company Air Seas. This airborne kite has a surface area of 1,640 feet. Thanks to its large surface area, the kite provides additional thrust, reducing the load on the ship's main engine. According to the developers, this airborne kite can reduce fuel consumption and carbon emissions by 20%. The company also claims that its sail technology can be easily installed on any vessel, with the process taking only a few days. The invention is already being successfully tested on the cargo ship Via de Bordeaux, which delivers aircraft components across the Atlantic Ocean. This system represents the first step before implementing the full-scale serial version of the kite, which will have a surface area of 3,280 feet. Finding areas for solar panel installation is becoming increasingly challenging. Moreover, such structures often occupy fertile land. An innovative solution to these problems comes from Voltalia, with their agroelectric station called Cabanon. This system allows for the cultivation of agricultural crops and simultaneous generation of green electricity on a single plot of land. The solar panels are positioned at a height of approximately 15 feet, serving as protection for the crops against extreme weather conditions. The system's characteristics also enable easy access for machinery involved in the crop growing process. The station also has the capacity to generate up to 3 megawatts of power, which is sufficient to meet the electricity needs of over 4,000 people. The entire complex occupies an area of 4.5 hectares, and the project implementation cost amounts to approximately 700,000 euros. What technology, in your opinion, is the most promising? Share your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. There's a lot more interesting information from the world of technology coming your way.